Yeah. I'm here at the Grand Hotel and uh, I tried the calamari. And carrot and the grand grand bohem. I call it the Grand Bohemian, the Grand Hotel. It's right across the street from the legendary Bitmore Estate. And my buddy, Network, John, just left a meeting. Ariana, the party one year. He was telling me the history of the Bitmore. Did you know that the Bitmore was built by slaves? And he was telling me that, like, when you were in one of the rooms, the kitchens in the basement, and because they didn't want to really interact with the slaves cooking the food, the slaves would cook the food in the basement and they put it in these little elevators that go right up to the room. And they would roll up the side of the elevators so the food disappears like out of the elevator. And he was telling me different parts of Asheville the history. You know, it was great. And he was even telling me about this hotel. You know, buddy Mikey Mike, the best chef, chef in the Grand Hotel. Grand Bohemian Hotel, which is right next to the McDonald's over there, and a bit more is here, and this main street, I don't know what street this is, but it's like the main street that runs this way, but food, calamari, I want you to notice, see how bright the calamari is, so when you be getting calamari and, the, and it's dark, usually the grease is too dirty, or it's not fresh. Then you see like the little baby squid still look like squid. Look at that man. That, that's McDowell Street, man. Oh, it will be right off of McDowell's so on the McDowell side. So I said, yo man, let's go by here and surprise Mikey Mike. And um, he did. Yeah. Especially is the pastry, so you know I can't eat all that cake without milk. So I'm gonna do what I do. And if you're an animal activist, you might not want to come in here because there's a lot of babies on the wall. You know, it's uh, this whole motif. The moto motif is uh, not really sensitive to to the fact that if you don't believe in going hunting. You know, but I like it. It's warm, cozy. Definitely gives you that effect of old money. <laughs> not that I got nothing to do with that, but. It was something to do during the day. I think you should always take time out. Enjoy life. Just, you know, in the middle of a pandemic. Gotta still be able to smile. So we smiling. What's up, Mike? Yeah, I'm going to post it. <laughs> Which I'm and if this food was horrible, I would have told you. But it's great. And I appreciate it. You know. I don't know how these guys feel. The guys that made the wall. But, um, but in the lobby in this hotel, the art already got all these oil paintings. There's a big fireplace, like really warm, cozy. You know, it gives you that really warm feeling. Something like the St. James Hotel in New York when I stayed there. When Will was filming the movie Men in Black 1. It was just dating Jada. I had an opportunity to stay there at night, and their whole motif was a lot of wood, like like wood, you know. You know, but there you go, day in the life. Um, get ready to prepare for planning my birthday. It's coming up February second. Well, usually it's on Super Bowl Sunday, but now they say Super Bowl not to the thirteenth, so it's the week after, I guess. Anyway, sign it off. So if you're in Asheville, stop by the Grand Bohemian Hotel. Right across the street. Well, Mr. Groove had that cake already ready for you. Oh, really? Fellas, so that is on him. Oh, thanks, dear. <laughs> My fault. Mr. Groove, huh? Mr. Groove, don't forget that. Alright, hey, listen, yeah. you're my little video there. Your name? Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Sarah was excellent. So when I post this on the Grand Hotel Hotel page, that was how <laughs> she made it unbelievably nice. Thank you. Thank you. And the food is always safe. So if you're coming into Asheville, <laughs> just don't ask John what happened to the Panther, because he's a die hard Panther fan. I mean, you see, he got the jersey. 
That man is a ticket holder, man. You know, I'm Eagles. So, but it's good. It's all about the good food, good friends, family.